Are you an Android user and wish you could FaceTime with all your friends that have iPhones? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are some video calling apps that you can use on your Android smartphone. Video calling isn't particularly new. In fact, it's been around for decades, and other video calling applications existed before Apple broke into the space. But FaceTime is what truly put it on the map for mobile devices. The problem is, Apple's video calling service, much like iMessages, is proprietary and only available from other Apple devices, iPods, iPhones, iPads, and Macs. This has created a barrier between iOS and non-iOS users who want to video call each other, but it's more of a speed bump than anything else. Now, practically every smartphone comes with the ability to video call to some degree, which has led to its push into a mainstream form of communication. If you're on Android, there are several third-party applications that allow you to video chat with others quite easily. Of those, Skype is easily among the best, but we use that term quite loosely. It's the best due to how openly available the service is. It's available on most operating systems, desktop and mobile, and a lot of people already use Skype. Like most video chat applications, you can chat using text, voice, or video, and if you pay for a premium account, you can do video conferencing. Overall, Skype is one of the better offerings around, especially if your friends and family use other mobile platforms. Tango is a similar concept, but unlike Skype, Tango is packed with all sorts of goodies. Once you log in and import some friends, you can jump straight into a text chat, where you can share all sorts of animated emoticons, most of which are unlocked through in-app purchases. You can also play games with the people you're chatting with, but the video calling features are pretty basic. Front and rear facing camera, toggle video on or off, audio mute switch, and end call. Tango is available across multiple platforms, but unlike Skype, it's not available on Mac or Blackberry. And despite having between 50 and 100 million installs on Android alone, there seem to be far fewer of my personal or work friends on and actively using Tango. Uvu is yet another cross-platform video calling option, and at least based on my Facebook friends, there are even fewer people using Uvu. Of nearly a thousand of my Facebook friends, only five are using Uvu, but it's still relatively popular with between 10 and 50 million installs from Google Play. What Uvu brings to the table is video conferencing. Up to 12 people can join the video chat for free, whereas Skype requires a premium account. Outside that, and syncing up with Facebook friends, Uvu's features are pretty bare, and it's also ad-supported. Lastly, Google has offered native video calling for some time, although it's been largely overlooked and underused. The old Google Talk application offered video and voice calling in-app, and after Google Plus launched, you could join ongoing Hangouts from mobile. At Google I.O. this year, Google unveiled the Hangouts app, which replaces Talk. It will come pre-installed on every Android phone, and it's available as a free download for iOS devices. And it works in Chrome from almost any desktop OS. You can do one-on-one -on -one video calling or full-fledged Hangout with up to 10 people on call. These, of course, are only some of the most popular video calling applications. There is certainly no shortage of options, but picking an app that is widely used and openly available to as many users as possible is key when choosing something like a video calling service. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one in the future. You can find us on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time. Do all your friends have iPhones and do you, do you wish that you could FaceTime with all your iPhone friends? Are you an Android user and wish you could FaceTime with all your iPhone friends?